Have you ever felt this pressure that somehow your life is not living up to what you would want it to be, hoping that something would be different, then you could finally be happy? If yes, that makes two of us or probably billions of us because the quantity in which I see this happen within myself and also in other people is truly mind-blowing. I mean, think about it. How many people do you know who are really happy with their life? And how many people do you know who are somehow still chasing something, hoping once they get that, they could finally be happy? And where on that scale would you put yourself? So what is going on here? What can we do about all of this? And is there something we can do about all of this? That is exactly what I want to talk about today. I would like to share a perspective which, although I don't think it solves all of the problems, it has really helped me with this continuous feeling that somehow I myself or my life is always not good enough and I should be chasing something more. It's it's the following. Our Earth and our world has existed for 4.5 billion years. That is a very, very, very long time. And so I like to remind myself that actually I'm a visitor here because because all of this around me has been here before I ever existed and it will be here once I leave and so this idea of owning something actually isn't as real as we sometimes perceive it to be. I like to think that everything I have, the roof over my head, my belongings, my money, my camera equipment, my body, my success, my my everything, like everything I own, everything that I am, I'm actually borrowing it from the earth, from something that is much bigger than I will probably ever be able to understand or fully grasp. And everything I have, I have right now in this present moment, but it can always change, it can always evolve into something else. It will always evolve into something else because change is inevitable. And I find this idea and this reminder really works against this continuous need to want more and have more and be more because it reminds us that everything will be gone again and the only thing that we ever really truly own are our experiences and our memories because those are not tangible and so we can take them with us forever. It also just brings you closer to the truth and I think the truth is that no outside circumstance or anything on the outside ever determines how much value we hold or how important we are and I really think that the most beautiful part about being human and even experiencing life in the first place is our ability to grow and learn and evolve and outside circumstances they play a big role in that but I think they are only a piece of the cake and the entire cake is all of life and I feel like there's just too much energy around this idea that outside circumstances make up the entire cake. I feel like some of those other pieces of cake that sometimes get overlooked are things like our experiences and how we feel and the people we connect with and our physical health and our well-being and our happiness and I think a lot of people are really blessed in those areas but we somehow overlook them because we are only focused on that one thing, our physical circumstances, and something about that is not how we want it to be. And so we forget all of the other things, which are also so beautiful, where we are really so blessed. This is not something that I've mastered. I try to remind myself of these things every single day because I feel like it's really hard, especially now with social media. We are exposed to so many different kinds of people and so many possibilities of things that we could be doing and things that we could achieve. And it's really difficult because you always have exposure to someone who is already in some way steps ahead of you and already achieving what you would like to achieve I guess and also so many books out there and so many content continuously bombarding your brain with how to be richer how to be more successful how to be fitter how to be cooler how to be happier it's this continuous perpetuation that something about our life is always not right yet and once we would fix that then we would be happy but that is just an endless road that will never allow you to arrive anywhere because truly at the base we are all really only looking for the feeling of happiness and comfort and belonging and purpose and all these things and so we use these material things to try and achieve that meanwhile we forget that those things can be a quick fix or maybe an enhancement but they can never solve the issue because the issue has to be solved within that is just that is just the rule think about it anything that you are trying to achieve or have where you think once I have that I could finally be happy and stress-free and live the life that I've always wanted to live 
live, I can guarantee you there is someone out there who has something exactly like that or very similar and they are still not happy. There's also someone who has it probably and who is happy, but there's also someone who has it and who isn't happy. And so there has to be something in the equation that we are missing. And I think those things that are missing are all of the other pieces of cake that make up a happy and fulfilled life where in the end we can sit there and be like this made sense i'm happy with what i created in my life i find this to be a really difficult thing to become solid in and continuously remember because there's so much of the world that is built on a different perspective so many things that kind of pull you and other people's opinions and perceptions of you but i really try to continuously ask myself how much of what i'm trying to achieve do i want to experience because it excites me and i'm happy with what i have right now but the experience just just excites me and how much do I want because I think once I have that I can finally be stress-free and happy and how much am I not allowing myself to be happy right now because I think once I have that then I can be happy meanwhile the only moment where we can ever be happy is right now because that's the only moment we ever have and these are simple reminders I mean all of this is is simple and easy and still I see myself forgetting these things so often and I see other people forgetting these things so often and I just think you know it's such a shame because often we have so much and we don't see it because we're just focused on that one piece of cake not being the way we want it to be anyways that is all I wanted to share for today I really hope that you enjoyed Thank you so much and I hope to see you soon.